What do you say, guys? It's being reported that Alabama has their new defensive coordinator, and it's Kane Womack, who was the head coach of the South Alabama Jaguars. We're going to talk about that, the search that led Coach DeBoer to South Alabama, their connection, and what it means for Alabama. Hey, thanks for being here on the Bama Tailgate YouTube channel. Make sure that you like and subscribe. We're brought to you by New Life Art. Use the promo code Bama Tailgate to get 15% off any regularly priced item at newlifeart.com. Those amazing Daniel Moore prints. Let's get this thing started. Roll Tide. What do you say, everybody? Welcome to the Bama Tailgate YouTube channel. I'm Mick Gillespie at Broadcaster Mick on the socials. Please like and follow, and let's get this thing started. So it has been reported, Chris Lowe and a bunch of other media outlets, that Bama has its new defensive coordinator, and it's Kane Womack. He was the head coach of the South Alabama Jaguars. You figured that he would be a hot commodity building a program and a place that has been tough to win over the years. They beat Oklahoma State. Remember, two years ago, they should have beaten UCLA. And for those programs, huge opportunities. But Womack uh, started his career at UT Martin. Of course, Ty Simpson with the connection to the Skyhawks program. Uh, Womack served as a graduate assistant. Jacksonville State. So he's got a, a lot of Alabama ties, not just as the head coach of the Jaguars. Here's his complete resume. UT Martin as a quarterback's coach, Jacksonville State as a GA and a D-line coach. He was with the Ole Miss Rebels 2012 and 2013 as a graduate assistant, safeties coach, um, Eastern Illinois as a defensive coordinator, South Alabama, D.C., linebacker coach. Then he was at Indiana uh, from 2018 to 20. Two years he was the D.C. and linebackers coach. One of those was with Kalen DeBoer, Alabama's new head coach. And when they were at Indiana, those were some really good years for the Hoosiers, who have not had a good football program uh, historically, but they did then. And those coaches have gone on now to you unite in Tuscaloosa. So he's been at South Alabama since 2021, and now he leaves to become a defensive coordinator. So I guess it, it answers the question, you know, what would you rather have a, a smaller level head coaching job or the defensive or offensive coordinator at a big school? And that's what Womack has decided. Womack and company are going to have their work cut out for them. Um, this past year, South Alabama, 7-6, and six, won a bowl game. They also beat Oklahoma State, as I mentioned it before. He's 22-16 and 16, uh, at South Alabama, as the graphic says. But Alabama's got to get started here on trying to save the recruiting class as players have started to, uh, to decommit from – from their commitment, Ricks, the cornerback, French, the receiver, obviously Ryan Williams, who is uh, from Sarah Land, which isn't far from South Alabama, decommitted. You got players trying to leave, like maybe Caleb Downs, who has uh, said that he's not sure what he's going to do, and maybe he follows his coach to Georgia, who knows? But Alabama is under assault right now for their players because the transfer portal had to open up for another 30 days after Nick Saban left. So it's up to Womack to get to town and try to help really just get with all of these players and make them feel comfortable about the future of the program. Uh, you got Ryan Grubb as the OC, and you got Kane Womack as the D.C. These are coaches that Kalen DeBoer knows, he trusts, he feels comfortable with. And that's been a theme that I've noticed 
with Kalen DeBoer since he took over. People really like him. They really trust him. And at the same time, he likes to be around people that he knows he can count on. And this job as Alabama's new head coach is obviously one that comes with a ton of pressure. There's a lot of expectations in Tuscaloosa. And uh, this hire obviously wasn't his first choice, but it is a good hire for Alabama. We kept hearing Glenn Schumann as a possibility, the former Alabama uh, GA and assistant that learned under Saban and has been a co-defensive coordinator at Georgia for years. Maybe if, hey, if we don't get T-Rob, then we'll get him. Well, Alabama didn't get either one of those guys, but maybe they didn't want him. I, I don't know the whole story there, but I do know that Womack coming to town had the 15th rated defense last year in the country. I think Alabama's was 16th, so that gives you an idea, too, that this guy knows defenses. So that's the news. Um, the staff's going to continue to come together. We'll report on that, and hopefully Alabama – can uh, try to just keep this group together and uh, and not lose any more players to the transfer portal. And th this will help solidify that coaching room, and it'll allow DeBoer to focus his attention on recruiting the players that he's got and then trying to bring the players in that committed to play at Alabama. Guys, thanks for hanging out with us again. We're brought to you by New Life Art, also presented by – our friend Chad Anderson at Modern Lending, chadwickanderson.com. That's his new website, and uh, all you got to do is uh, scan the code over there, and he'll help you out with mortgages and much more. Thanks for hanging out with us, and roll tide, everybody. <laughs>